Welcome to the Jeremy Hill Show. If you're easily triggered, leave now. I am the gentleman who has gone rogue. Now, I'm going to play a, a reaction video to several clips talking about how women throw away the best years of their lives, wasting them on men who are indecent. We tend to call the we, we tend to call these type of men Pookie, Ray Ray, Nook Nook, and whatever, you know. So we're going to play some clips out of educational purposes and for fair use. And I want you gentlemen and ladies to realize how you are wasting your years on the wrong men, leaving these relationships traumatized and making yourself unfit for real relationships with decent men. Let's go ahead and get into it, gentlemen, right now. He'll say I got a good job. I ain't got no kids. Shut, shut, shut. I got good credit. Ooh, shit. I love my mama and love God. Go to church. Check, 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 check. And we'll hit him with the, you know what? You just not what I'm looking for right now. It's not you, it's me. You just, I feel like you're a little too much for me. Yeah, Ray Ray will come with his 10 kids, 11 baby mothers, 10 unkept tattoos, 17 evictions, a bike, and a black garbage bag. And we will love the dodo out of some Ray Ray. This is because a lot of women, like I said in some of my other videos before, a lot of women lack good judgment. You should not have to stand on t stand in the middle of a railroad track and see a train coming to know you need to get the hell out the way. At a certain age, women, you should be able to identify what type of man is good or not. See, the problem is women do not use discernment. They do not use good judgment. They are so enamored, enamored with swag and demeanor and appearance girl he got swag but he got a bad credit score girl he, he he'll put them hands on somebody but he ain't got no steady employment girl he a hustler he got a gold teeth but he ain't got no place to stay nothing in his name you he living off of you this is the problem a lot of you women are toddlers in your minds. You have no idea about what real manhood is. You don't even know what womanhood is because a real woman would not want a man that will traumatize them. A real woman would not put herself in a position of where she can be somebody else's baby mama to a man who already has three or four. He will love the dodo out of some Ray Ray. Okay, we be ready to cut a hoe over Ray Ray. Go to war for Ray Ray. Cut our family off for Ray Ray. And he ain't got nothing going for him. Yet, Billy with a good job, we'll throw him to the wolves. Ladies, why do we do this? Tell me. You're doing it because you're immature. You're doing it because your mother failed you. You're doing it because you're in the wrong circle. You have the wrong circle of friends who also like negativity and stupidity, okay? Women do not like bad boys. We hear this all the time. Let me break that down. Women do not like bad boys. Women like toxic environments. That's different. Women like unhealthy relationships. Do you understand that? Because you can be with a good man and have a toxic moment and have an unhealthy moment, but women love toxicity. Women love to be the victim. And when you get with a Ray Ray or a Pookie or whatever you want to call these gentlemen, that's what you're going to get every time. Let me play another um, video for you right quick, gentlemen. Here we go. Do you see what's wrong with the saying, pick better men? It's always blaming women. I'm tired of men of telling women to pick better men. I'm like, sir, are you a better pick? Remember how these boys said we should pick better? Pick better. Women have always been told to pick better. Pick better men, where the fuck are y'all at? Telling us to pick better men puts me in the mind of a child that's getting bullied. Y'all need to learn how to pick better men. Pick better men is just another way to gaslight women into taking accountability for the way men behave. Pick better men. What better men do we have to pick from? What better men are we picking from? Have you ever cheated on a man before? Yes, I have. Now, what, what, <laughs> <laughs> when, when, you, when you did cheat, did you feel bad or did you feel even? Like, did he deserve it? I felt it? bad. I felt bad. The person didn't deserve it. 
I was much, much younger. I'm now in my 30s, I'm proud to say. So, yeah. I respect that. There's a lot of women that can't admit that. They cannot admit the fact that they cheated on somebody that did not deserve it. Do you feel you lost a good man in, in the, the process of that? Is it? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Ladies and gentlemen, um, this is what we're talking about. It's There's no reward for being a good man in modern dating. It takes the average modern woman to be over 35 or have a couple of baby daddies to finally figure out what is a good man. Passport bro. I agree with that. These women talking about pick men, pick men. Where are the good men? They're all around you. The problem is the good men do not fit your criteria of appearance, I mean, appearance and swagger. A man who runs his own company is not gonna run around acting like, yo, what up, shorty? What's up? What's cracking, cuz? You know what I'm saying? Let me, hey, hold let me holler at you, little baby. You know what I'm saying? Let me get at you. A man who makes money it don't talk like that. Do you understand what I'm saying? Only people that talk like that, it might be entertainers and rappers, but men who got their own stuff and about their business do not talk like that. Men who got real money, don't worry about throwing, don't worry about throwing on 20 inch rims on their ride. You get what I'm trying to say? So most time the good men are in the friend zone or they're just the men that you wouldn't give the time of day to because they don't fit the characteristic traits of what I just described. And then here you got women cheating on good men. Like the woman said, he didn't deserve that. And now that they older, now they got a couple baby daddies, now they got all this stuff going on, now they feel sorry. Now they want to have a good man. Now they regret that, right? Now let me play a, uh, a video of a man. He kind of come across as a simp, but I had to look past that to see what the real problem is. So let's go ahead and play it. So I just left the restaurant after waiting 30 minutes for a day to show up. And apparently I got stood up. I don't know what to say. Like I'm trying to do everything right to be a gentleman. I brought flowers. I've been consistent talking to this girl for two weeks, trying to get to know what she likes, what she doesn't like. I made plans. I picked the restaurant, the day and the time. You know, I've done everything to be just the kind of guy that would value somebody's time. All right, so he wasn't Pookie and Ray Ray enough. He wasn't um, a hood dude. Now, I hate to say this now. He looked kind of soft, lucky like about to cry about the situation. Yeah, but men like this who get burned like this become monsters later on. What do I mean? These men become cold hearted. He's a beta right now, probably. And he probably gonna become an alpha male later. You see, it's sad when women waste your time. This man put in all this work and effort for a date and then you don't show up. See, women do not want gentlemen they don't want gentlemen certain women let me say it like that but there are men out there who are good men but i'm glad he didn't get with her because based on how he looked if he would have got her she would have cheated on him all day and all week to be honest with you like i just i'm just looking for my person i'm just looking for the one that i guess is out there for me i mean i want to be somebody's husband someday father I'm trying to do everything that's right and I just get stood up. Like my feelings didn't even matter. I'm sitting there eating a meal by myself and realizing that nobody even cares about people anymore. Like Ellie and dating shouldn't even be this hard. It shouldn't be this hard to find somebody. It shouldn't be this difficult to fall in love. To be to kind one another. Like, Ladies, tell me, what did I do wrong? And modern women always ask, where are all the good men? This is the price you pay for being a good, honest man just with the sole intentions of finding true love. He will eventually become a passport bro and get married to a Filipina who will appreciate flowers, affection, and romantic dates. See how, see how it is? He a little soft. I mean, he a little soft and stuff, but I do see where he coming from. You know what I mean? I understand the point. He make a valid point. But this is what it is right now with some of you women. I'm going to play a few more clips for you, gentlemen. Right here. A lot of y'all ladies do not want a real man. Y'all want a 
want, yes, you do. Y'all want men that won't hold you accountable. Y'all want men to walk over. Y'all want men that allows you to disrespect them. Y'all want men that allows y'all to talk to them any type of way. Y'all want men that don't check you on your attitude. Y'all want men that are supposed to accept you as you are and the BS that you come with. That's what y'all want. Y'all don't want real men because real men are going to hold you accountable. Real men aren't going to allow you to talk to them any type of way. Real men are going to... In other words, a real man is going to put you in your place. You can't run over a real man. The only time that a woman is fortunate enough, fortunate enough to run over a decent real man is if he already is in love with her. When he's not in love with her and he's trying to get to know her and he wants her, you cannot run over that type of man. These women want Pookie because Pookie don't got a job. Pookie got to depend on them. Pookie can be ran by the woman. He'll talk a little mess back unless he's an abusive man. I hope not, but she can run over him. He in the streets, she's in the streets. Most women who want men in the streets are running the streets themselves. She wants that's always getting high and drunk because that's what she do. She want a man to go cheat on her because she going to cheat on him. Some women love toxic chaos, period. Want to have standards. Real men are going to establish boundaries. And if you do not accept those boundaries, they will leave you right where you at. Real men will cause you to change and to develop. Real men is going to check your attitude. Real men is going to not always give you what you want, but what you need. Real men is not always going to tell you what you want to hear, but what you need to hear. Real men is still going to be a man, whether you're with him or not. And it's not going to be tied to his monetary value. Hmm. Message. She's right about that because a man, there's no such thing as a real man who doesn't take a woman and try to develop her. I'm not trying to say change her, but if a man is on a certain level and he's trying to get to a higher position in life, he's going to want his wife to get there because that wife may have children of his. Once that man gets to a certain level, that whole family gets to a certain level. He's going to try to bring her up, help her with a credit, help her do things. That's just what nature, that's the nature of a man. That's part of that provision that you say you want a man to do. A man is going to put boundaries on you like it or not i got one more one more to play for you gentlemen fellas why do you feel the need to repeat yourself that about something that's um not being done in your household when you the provider protector and everything above that a woman really want you know you're a hundred percent good man it's time to replace that bitch at the end of the day it's not going to get done if you must repeat yourself move on simple women know what the fuck they're doing we know <laughs> yes if you tell your woman stop dressing like this i know you ain't gonna like this a man has every right to tell you that why because i dressed like this before i got with him people evolve people move forward okay what he might have used to do and what you used to do when y'all got together and decide y'all want to be in a relationship and take it to a serious level, things are going to have to change to get there, okay? A man tell you to um, dress differently, do it. It's not that hard. You shouldn't have to tell her two or three times. If she's over friendly with men, which you shouldn't have her anyway, but she's too friendly, you should tell her. If you got to keep telling her that, she's a whore. Straight up, she's a flirtatious woman. So I know many people ain't going to like that. But yeah, women, you shouldn't have to, if you keep telling women something over and over and over again, that's just her being passive aggressive and also rebellious towards your authority as a man. Yes, men have authority over women. I know women don't like to hear that, but yes, that's just how it is in the world, period. So tell me what y'all think about this one, gentlemen. See you later.